Welcome to my poster session. Um, my poster is titled The Impact of Culinary Medicine Elective on the Educational Quality and Healthy Lifestyle Behaviors in Fourth Year Medical Students. My name is Teresa Dvorak. I am faculty in the Department of Nutrition and Integrative Physiology at the University of Utah in Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, in 2017, <clears throat> Some colleagues of mine uh, and myself developed a novel culinary medicine curriculum to be taught here at the University of Utah. Uh, this class was designed to be an interprofessional learning environment. We have a phenomenal state-of-the-art foods lab uh, in our department, and so with the collaboration of the School of Medicine as well as the College of Health, we were able to combine our forces um, and develop a, a really remarkable class that met the needs of our students um, and potentially the students of our, the needs of medical students across the country. Um, as we know, medical school training in uh, across the United States is really insufficient when it comes to nutrition education. Um, and oftentimes this is very um, kind of lecture oriented nutrition education, biochemistry, macro and micronutrient metabolism, things of that sort, uh, guidelines, what have you. And very often the practical application as well as the ability to actually counsel for health behavior change uh, is left out of curriculum, not only in medical school, but we find it across healthcare professional programs at, at the graduate level. So nursing, pharmacy, dentistry, uh, these all are often lacking in this practical education that we can provide to our patients uh, in a very meaningful way. And so uh, when we when we approached uh, our class, we uh, have opted to uh, do some uh, survey analysis and create some survey questions that we can ask to our students. So this particular poster is looking at some survey questions that we have embedded in our um, exit survey of all medical students. So we have certain questions that are asked to all medical students upon graduation uh, and and then they will um, and then we compare them to students who have taken culinary medicine at some point in time during their medical school training. Uh, and so what we can see from our descriptive statistics, uh, they show that students who took culinary medicine were more likely to consistently include healthy behaviors into their days, such as eating more fruits and vegetables, exercising, and getting to nine hours of sleep nightly. Students who took culinary medicine during their medical school training were more likely to agree to statements about their ability to counsel patients about healthy lifestyles. These were questions that asked about uh, disease, being able to counsel regarding uh, disease prevention, nutrition, stress, sleep, natural products, as well as their ability to counsel on health behavior change. Along with positively agreeing to being able to champion a healthy lifestyle for uh, as well for themselves. So not only are they championing those healthy lifestyles for their patients, um, but they are doing it for themselves as well. And we know it from the literature that if uh, physicians or care professionals are engaging in positive behaviors, uh, health behaviors, they're more likely to speak to those behaviors when they are speaking with patients, when they are counseling patients. Um, and so certainly we want to think about the well-being of the individual but then that also has kind of this downward trickle effect into our patient care as well. Some of our analytic statistics um, results showed that, um, so first off, we ran Mann-Whitney two sample rank sum tests uh, because we're working with non-parametric data and the variables such as individual light cart scale items uh, can then be treated like ordinal data. 
students who took culinary medicine were significantly more likely to agree that they could counsel patients about nutrition. This is huge. This is amazing because most students upon graduation, most residents uh, after completion of their residency, most physicians talk about uh, in surveys that they are they feel incompetent and feel uh, not prepared to counsel patients about nutrition. And here we are showing that we are able to build that confidence and that competence in our students. Um, and they're ready to, to make those changes in their counseling. We also found significant uh, results in the uh, student's ability to counsel patients about physical activity, because we know it's not diet alone that manages a healthy lifestyle, but being active and all of these other healthy behavior changes that we need to be talking to our patients and our communities about. Students who took the elective during their preclinical years were more likely to agree that they could counsel patients about activity and champion a healthy lifestyle for themselves. So we found um, as well some of the significance on students who took it in their first or second years of medical school rather than in their fourth year of medical school, um, much more confident. They had time to practice and kind of embed this knowledge uh, into their way of thinking, um, into their ability to practice, um, and then build that confidence and be able to take that with them into their clinical setting. So we also, in the spring of 2020, conducted blinded focus groups um, of students that had completed culinary medicine. Uh, these sessions were recorded and transcribed, um, and they provided us with really rich information. Uh, the thematic coding indicated three main categories, uh, benefits, uh, culinary medicine provided to the student, uh, areas for improvement, and course organization. Some of the student comments about culinary medicine were things like it provided insight uh, to patient experiences in nutrition. It helped to build confidence related to interactions with patients. It was fun and enjoyable. It provided practical knowledge. It provided a holistic understanding of health, and I gained new perspectives. Um, overall, combining culinary medicine and evidence-based practice recommendations and interprofessional collaboration provides students with the tools to complete medically and culturally diverse um, case studies and counseling patients on nutrition-related health concerns. A distinct strength of the course is that through the case studies and the role play, students practice counseling skills uh, in a safe, non-judgmental environment. Our findings suggest that col the culinary medicine elective provided a training opportunity with lasting effects on student abilities to provide high quality patient care related to nutrition and health. We are currently analyzing our student survey data from the past five years of culinary medicine at the University of Utah, and we really look forward to being able to share those results very soon. So thank you for your time, uh, and I appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of the conference. Take care.